Right guys, thank you for checking out my video today. I'm sure you guys have busy days ahead, so I don't wanna be going on too long, but it always happens, I always start chatting too long. But guys, what I'm gonna be discussing today is, it's actually a topic I wouldn't really discuss, um, but you know, essentially I do do reviews and you know, do discuss about lifestyle. This doesn't fall into lifestyle, it, it comes into reviews. But essentially what I'm gonna be reviewing today is I've specifically chosen these pens to discuss and that is the Tactile Turn Autumn pen and the other one is the Tactile Turn Zirconian pen. And the reason I wanted to discuss this because I like to do reviews on things I use and uh, I would like to recommend. It's not just about recommending. I'll give my true opinion on on this specific on these specific pens. So that's why I wanted to discuss these because essentially I do use these uh, pens on most days, and these are probably preferable pens I use compared to the generic cheap ones you get from the store. So I guess this video is more so applicable for those that are looking to buy a, a pen. Uh, they don't want to buy the generic store pens because one they're you know, cheap plastic, they're not that great. I mean, some of them are fantastic, um, Uniball, whatever, the gel ones. But, you know, if you've got the extra cash and you wanna splash out on a nice pen, then this is gonna be the video for you to watch. I'm gonna be discussing two of the pens I use and ones that I can actually recommend and are quite popular. And like, one is quite premium at that. So, guys, um, like I said, if you're looking for a premium pen, this is the video for you without chatting on too much longer. Let's get into this video. Right guys, so before I get into this video, I'm gonna do my generic chit chat. And that is, if you have not already subscribed to this video, then please do subscribe. That will greatly support the channel and also like the video if you enjoy the content I show. Now, I mean, my channel already says my name, but I want to just start by introducing myself, Mandy Lau, for those that are watching my video for the very live first time. Like I briefly explained in my intro, I like to do videos on lifestyle, uh, generally about myself, anything that's happening, um, any issues like, you know, I've discussed hair loss issues and gone on protein shakes and stuff like that. And also I like to do reviews. I, I really enjoy to do reviews and this is one of those videos today. So. I want to start by discussing why I've chosen tactile term pens. Why haven't I gone for Mont Blanc? I think it's Mont Blanc or Mont Blanc or whatever. Well, why haven't I gone for those kind of high brand pens? Why haven't I gone for big design? The thing is, with the pen market, the competition is fierce. And for a very, very long time, I did have a Mont Blanc pen at the beginning and there was nothing special about it. It wasn't a bad pen, but I just thought, it's, I don't know, I just didn't really, it wasn't really for me. So I think it's been about more than eight years I used the, I've been using tactile turn pens. I started off with the aluminium version and then I moved on to, I had the, I've got the copper version, but that's not one for discussion today. And then um, I got the zirconium one and then recently the autumn one, but Essentially, what I've noticed with Tactile Turn, this is something I just want to say before I discuss these pens, their customer service level has dropped. And this is something I do want to mention um, that I personally noticed because I've been with them so long. I think Will, I think that's the guy that kind of created this company when he started, he's by himself. I think his services were better in terms of how he got back to customers, how he responded, and just the after service as well. And these days, I, don't, I feel that after service has gone like, shot to hell it's just not great even recently uh, I think one pen I ordered from them I never essentially got it so I had to make another purchase my brother had to purchase a pen for me and then with this pen I asked for it to be custom made and that didn't happen but 
But other than that, the quality of these pens are good. So if we get started with the first pen, and that is the Tactile Turn Autumn Pen. So if I bring this closer to you, you could see it. So you could see it's got a transparent body. The mechanism inside is, uh, I think it's titanium. Uh, this clip here, I think is a st uh, stainless steel clip. Let me double check because um, when it comes to providing information in terms of, you know, the pens itself, I don't want to give you inaccurate information. So let's have a look at this. So the body here is Ultim 1000, 1000. Why did I, I was gonna read body material, but it's 1000, Ultim 1000. Uh, it's got a titanium mechanism inside, stainless steel clip. So it's not a titanium clip. It comes in two sizes, guys. So standard and short. It comes in two colors, natural and black. You get the clip engraving option, which I've already discussed, which never happened for me. And the main properties here, which I found quite impressive, is that this, this pen here is very, very tough. So it is flame retardant, it's, uh, what's it called? Chemical resistant as well. So you can use this pen in harsh conditions. Now, I'm not gonna really be using this for harsh conditions, but I did like kind of the properties I read on their website just because I liked it. There's no specific reason, um, but yeah. I really like the fact this transparent body, because you can see the internal mechanism running in here, which is pretty cool. That's the clip. This one I've gone for is the short one, but this is thicker, the body's thicker compared to the other pens. Uh, you can see that it's got like lines running through the whole body. I don't know if you could see that, but it makes feeling the pen a bit, it's got a rough texture to it, which is, at the beginning it was very annoying, but now it's beginning to smooth down a bit. I've noticed it's not as rough, but when you do get this, it feels rough. The clip here, it's very hard like you have to you can barely move it so you know if you put this or clip it onto something it is not gonna fall off it's pretty strong the cartridge it comes with it's I don't know how to pronou pronounce it Smith's or Smite or Sm whatever I don't, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce it I do I write on the screen it's a very good cartridge the only thing is the one they've given is leaking I'm not sure if you saw it when I showed you the pen but it's leaking inside the body of this pen I don't know wait there you go you can see it it's actually leaking which is very annoying because it's kind of wrecking how the pen looks um other than that, I actually really like this pen because compared to the copper pen, compared to the zirconium pen, this is very, 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 very light. It's like it doesn't feel any weight. Um, let me see if I've got the grams here so I can tell you guys. It is a very, very light pen. Um, and that's something that I think is, what do you say, a bonus for this pen. And that's why I like this over also the black pen, not because of the lightness, but I think you can see the internal components better on this pen, but it's extremely light. So this is, you, you know, if you do put a product in your pocket, you won't be able to feel it. That's why I would recommend this for those that need something that's strong, that can, you know, that likes the look of something that's transparent, uh, that you could take with you and say, if you work in kind of harsh, con harsh conditions, this will be very handy and it's got a strong clip to boot uh, the benefits. So. That is the Ultim pen, and I'll tell you the price as well. Like I've said, it comes in short and stand, I think it's standard. Was it, yeah, standard to short being 5.1 inches, which this is, and standard 5.6 uh, inches. Uh, the price for this one was uh, $99. The delivery costs, I can't remember if here, it's 15 or $20, so not too bad. That is the Tactile Autumn. So the next one I've gone for, which was very expensive when I've purchased it. This is the Zirconium, uh, Zirconium um, Bolt Action Tactile Turn Pen. And this is custom made as well. So let me see if I can get this in for you guys to see. Is it gonna, there you go. So you can see my name is on it. 
and it's got also their, I think it's Tamaska's bolt feature there. So that's an optional feature. And if you have a look here, it's got lines like the other pen as well, but it has this here. Actually, I didn't discuss this with you, but with this Ultim one, it, the feeling of the bolt action feels really, really nice. It's nice and smooth. At the beginning, it wasn't nice and smooth and I got it um, new, but I did uh, once I've started to practice with this bit, it's, it's definitely become smoother. So if it does feel a bit tense at first, that's perfectly normal. And with the same thing with this one. Oh, this one, it feels a bit more like a better mechanism. I don't know why it feels better to to do that. It's got a nicer sensation. I don't know if there's a different mechanism here or it's done differently, but it's a nice feeling of this one. So yeah, like I said, the body of this one is zirconium. It's a more premium material. So this is the most expensive one they have. And then the custom models they do with other materials. This is the expensive one they have from the four you can choose. So brass, copper, I think it's stainless steel, and then zirconium. Oh wait, we've got titanium as well. Have I made one up? Okay. Yeah, so copper, brass, titanium, and zirconium. I don't know if they've got a stainless steel one. I don't know, I'm just making that one up. But yeah, this is the more expensive one. This comes quite comparable to titanium, but I think titanium is still better. Let me have a read in terms of the specs for the zirconium one. Now the zirconium, I'm gonna explain it to you. I'll put a, a screenshot, but essentially with the, the specs in terms of these titanium and copper brass, you can check on their website, but I'll put it for zirconium on the screen. So this is directly below titanium on the periodic table with slimmer, with similar corrosion resistance. Zirconium is difficult to machine and is one of the most expensive materials we work with. It's lustrous, I think that's lustrous, dark gray color and looks amazing. And I do agree with the amazing part, definitely. The features here, it's all metal. It comes with three different sizes. You got the option to get the clip engraved with all of them. And you also have the option to get a Tamascus, titanium Tamascus bolt, which is really good. So like I said, I really like the look of this pen. It is much more weighty. So guys, do you remember when I was discussing the specs in terms of the weight? I did actually find it on the site. I wasn't looking properly before, but for the zirconian one, um, this one I've got in 5.1 inches, but you can get in 4.4. That is the mini option, but I've gone for the short option. The weight of this is 1.6 ounce. I don't know what that means, but I could tell you one thing. It is definitely significantly more heavier than the Ultim, significantly. And I really like the look of this. Like, it's all black. No, it's actually darkish grey. And... I would have preferred if they did the clip, like this one's even, it seems more tougher than the, the Ultima. I don't know, it does seem much more stronger. This is a really strong clip there. This has got the same refill as that one, as well as Smith's or whatever. Um, but to write with, they are both very good. I want to be very honest here, writing with this one, this feels much more heavier to write with and it, make, it, it makes for a little bit more uncomfortable writing for me personally. I prefer this one. The weight is so much lighter with this. It feels so much comfortable to write with. This one here, you know, this one, I'm hoping I don't break it, but yeah, this one feels very comfortable and the price is good. But if you're looking for something that's uh, more premium, like heavier in weight, more uh, better, well, it's not gonna be better material. They're all very good in their own sense. Um, but yeah, more premium material than this is it. You've got the, you know, you've got a beautiful option of adding that um, titanium, titanium Damascus, Damascus bolt there which is really nice and yeah i think the size isn't too much they're both standard i think there's minimal difference this one you will know on their website is wider so let me just show you close up for this one so you guys can see yeah 
and like I said they're both a pleasure to write with. So let me just tell you the price for the Tactile Turn Zirconium Bolt Action Pen. Now if I just add these up, Zirconium, short, add that, add that and you've got the option of choosing two fonts that will equate to $249. So this essentially is double this and $50 more also. So yes, it's definitely more expensive. It's, I think this one, most people, I don't know, I don't think most people will really go out and spend $99 when you got go to the store and pick up two, three dollars. This is definitely kind of investment pieces for those that want to spend a little bit more extra on getting a better pen and just treat themselves because it is more expensive pens. So yeah, that's pretty much kind of uh, my review for both. You can see it there as well. Oh, is this going to hold well? Wait, yep. Yeah. And that way, I do like the transparent look, isn't it? That is pretty cool. So yeah, that's what I wanted to just give you my reviews on this. I, uh, to be honest, regardless of the way of the zirconium, I enjoyed that. And also, just quickly tell you guys, I got a special sleeve of Halloween leather, Halloween leather made for the zirconium one with this, this is a custom made order. So got that made with this kind of loop there and it's a perfect fit. I had to give them their dimensions for this pen. It was tight at first, but now it fits perfectly. But yeah, I got that made. I thought that was pretty cool because it's an expensive pen. So why not give it a nice little housing, housing sleeve. So it looks nice. And I've got purple threading done on that as well. If you can see, it's got yeah, it's beautiful case for this. And if I put a link, I don't know if the seller still sells these. Obviously, they don't sell this exact one, like I said, it's custom. But when I did the order, they did put a page for this for other people to order something similar. I don't know if they still have that. I'm sipping on my tea because why not? So guys, I hope you find this review helpful. I want to do this so you guys can have um, a see of kind of the popular brand pens out there because Tactile Turner is very highly known. And if you were looking for a pen even better, then this review might help you. Um, I'm a big fan of pens, obviously. I've, I don't know if I've done a video before, actually. Yeah, the Growth Made one, the Growth Made pen. I use that a lot. It's on my desk. I, you, you know, that's an expensive pen, a premium pen as well. So, yeah, I would like to get the big design pen, but pff, it's quite expensive. Um, I mean, it's expensive because I've spent a lot of money on expensive pens already and I don't really want to kind of go out and buy more expensive pens but I would like to have the, the big design pen to compare, especially there's a Raconia one, uh, to compare against the tactile turn pen. So big design, if you're watching this then you know, shoot a pen my way. I'd like to do a review on it. If not, then fair enough. Um, guys, if this video was helpful, please do leave um, a like to this video. Do subscribe. And uh, I'll be shooting out more videos, hopefully very soon. So yeah, enjoy your day, guys. And I'll see you in my upcoming videos. Take care and have a lovely day. Bye.